Hello, this is Cody Haver from SportRivalry.com. We're going to talk about the in-state rivalry between the University of Texas Longhorns and the Texas A&M Aggies. Let's join Sport Rivalry Man on a journey through the Texas-Texas A&M rivalry. The iconic football rivalry between the two flagship institutions originated on October 19, 1894, in which Texas won with a 38-0 shutout victory over the Aggies. The Longhorns and Aggies played uninterrupted from 1915 to 2011 and for a total of 118 times. Currently, the overall series is led by the Longhorns with 76 wins, 37 losses, and 5 ties. The history of this rivalry is rich in tradition and both schools even mention the other in their fight songs. In Texas Fight, fans sing Texas Fight, Texas Fight, and it's goodbye to A&M. During the Aggie Warhelm, fans link arms and sway back and forth mimicking a saw while singing Saw Varsity's Horns Off. To this day, these two fight songs are sung with pride and gusto, even though the football teams haven't faced each other since 2011. Rumor has it that the Aggies even helped name Bebo, the Longhorns mascot. The tell goes that the Aggies beat Texas 13-0, and A&M students later broke into the stockyard and branded the score on the mascot. In an attempt to cover up the brand, some Texas students combined the 13-0 to spell Bevo. On November 27, 1998, with only 11 yards left to break Tony Dorsett's all-time rushing record, Longhorns legend Ricky Williams rushed for 259 yards on 44 carries against the Aggies to break the NCAA record on his way to winning the second Heisman Trophy for the University of Texas. Tragedy struck the rivalry in 1999 when 12 students at Texas A&M lost their lives while constructing the Aggie Bonfire, an annual ritual leading up to the game against the Longhorns. Just eight days after the tragedy, the two teams met on the field. Following a pregame tribute to the students, the Texas band played Amazing Grace at halftime in honor of the Fallen. Texas A&M won the game 24-16, and by some accounts, the rivalry was altered moving forward even receiving mention during Longhorns coach Matt Brown's final press conference. The last meeting between the two occurred on November 24, 2011, with the Longhorns winning on a last-second field goal, 27-25. Following the 2011 season, Texas A&M joined the Southeastern Conference and Texas remained in the Big 12 Conference. However, regardless that the two schools haven't played each other in football since 2011, other sports have revisited the rivalry and fan intensity remains very high. Our lesson in rivalry introduces us to glory out of reflected failure, or gorfing. Gorfing says that some fans will take pleasure and believe that their team, and by extension, they, are better than the rival when they lose to another team. This serves as yet another way to compare against and derogate the rival team. Thank you for your time. This is Cody Havard with SportRivalry.com, signing off.